Hello everyone, this is Vicki Verley. Thank you so much for joining me for your monthly tarot scopes. These monthly mini readings offer a glimpse into what it's really like to have a personal consultation with me. A private reading is much more personal and in-depth. I psychically tune into your energy and get visions and impressions that are specific only to you. If you would like to order a personal reading from me, or check out some of the other products and services that I offer, you can do so by checking out the link below. And now without further ado, on to the reading. Aquarius Hi Aquarius, welcome to your May of 2015 tarot reading in Animal Totem. Uh, and I do finally have the Animal Totem cards available. My wrist is, in hand is a little sore, so I'm going to, instead of using my hand, I'm going to use this uh, plastic thing so I'm not banging these cards uh, into my hand. I do this occasionally. Uh, for all the years, I've been banging these cards into my hand, and then sometimes my wrist gets sore, like a carpal tunnel maybe. Or it could even be from computer work, who knows, but... I just don't want to ir aggravate it, so I use this from time to time. I, I wish they made a card shuffler for different sized decks, like tarot decks and different sized decks. I've not been able to find one, only poker sized. Um, so any inventors out there, a lot of you Aquarians are inventors, maybe you could invent that, because I'm sure lots of people would like to use it. And by the way, if you like the uh, mandala at the beginning for Aquarius, these are going to be available for every sign, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about it at the end. But anyway, so let's look at this card. You know, the world was the first card that flew out. And the world is like the best card in the deck. I mean, it really is. It's like you can just have it all. The world, not only is it can you have it all, it is, um, it could be more than you ever anticipated. You know, it could be bigger, better, more than you ever thought it could be. Um, it looks really good. Uh, world can also have to do with the World Wide Web or people from another country from your own. So foreigners, people from overseas, or a different part of the world. Uh, so this is, a, you know, the, the foundation of the first card out of this reading uh, is the world. I mean, you can't really get any better than this. One thing I want to note is there's people in reverse. There's the uh, Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse. Now, the King of Swords is probably you. You know, that's the air sign person, the Aquarius, the Gemini, or the Libra. And, you know, uh, some of you may be going through some love stuff here. You know, you've got... The King of Swords is in reverse and looking at the lovers in reverse. So that usually means I'm having some problems in my relationship. It, it can be your, your main love relationship, but I also feel like this could just be with anybody you love. It doesn't have to be your lover necessarily, especially my my deck. The lovers aren't overtly sexual necessarily. They're just in love, embracing, and the, uh, you know, the angels are there, you know, some of them they're very sexual and they're naked and you can see erections and all sorts of things, but in my deck it's not, so I usually use it kind of more as just a love card. I mean, it totally can apply to an actual lover in some cases, but it doesn't, I don't feel like it really has to. And feeling in bondage, you know, the devil's behind you here. It's like I feel in bondage, I feel overwhelmed by this. So some of, I mean, I hate to say it, but some of you may be feeling like you, you want to end a relationship. Um, but it could be other things. I mean, if some of you, like this could be a single parent and you have like a couple kids or something and it's just, it's hard. It can be hard. Relationships are hard, period. I mean, there's no fairy tale happily ever after stuff like that, you know. Or maybe for some of you, this could be a parent or somebody that you love that you have to take care of. You know, there's different things that it could be. But it feels like, it's saying you're feeling really burdened by, um, love by people that you love or things that you love that you have to take care of. Um, and then the Eight of Rods shows, so it's like, well, do something about it. You need to do something about it. Um, I feel very drained by this energy. I feel like I'm, I'm kind of drained. And um, Eight of Rods is always, well, take action. Like, stop bitching about it and do something about it. I hate to be so blunt, but that's really what it means, you know. Um, you know, do something about it. It's time to take action. It's time to do something about it. 
It could just be anything. Maybe it's go to counseling if you're you know, if it's a love relationship. Maybe if it's your kids are wearing you down, maybe find a way, you know, trade off with another parent, you know, or something. Maybe if it's a you're a parent, you know, find a health care worker to come in a couple of days a week. To, it just feels like you need to uh, do something about it. Reach out. I feel like reach out for outside help, too, is going to be key in this scenario for you guys. So relationships are, are straining and there's a little bit of a drain there, but it does seem like there could be a lot of really good things happening in career and other things here. Because you also have the Three of Rods. Three of Rods is your ships are coming in. This also feels like with the hangman and the hermit, this feels like this could be something that you've been waiting around for for some time. Or you've been working on for some time now. You've been really working at it or you know, um, building, trying to build your empire or trying to build your new business or your new whatever. And um, it seems like things are finally clicking. You know, I've got a lot of uh, air here, too, besides the, here we've got the Page of Swords. Page of Swords could be a person, a child, but also I usually use the pages a lot for news is coming. So I feel like news is coming about your ships coming in of something long awaited. It's the world. Um, so it's really, really good. It feels like really good news. Also, the, the air sign, because in May we are going to uh, move into Gemini. I should have looked that up. I will look it up right now. I'm doing you guys early. I'm kind of going to go in backwards uh, order here this month because I wanted to. That's the way I do the uploads, so it's going to make it easier to do the uploads. So you guys get to go first. Okay, so it's the 21st. I should make a note of that. On the 21st, we will go into Gemini. So it's going to be you know, maybe around the 21st or later that this news might be coming in for you guys. Because I'll note, too, we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So that would be Earth sign person, maybe, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, but it could also be in the time of Taurus, which is up till the 21st. And then after the 21st, we move into the air, and it seems like things start really flowing then after the air. I feel like there is some kind of thing here about traveling or foreigners for a lot of you. Like you thought you were going to have to maybe travel or relocate or something like that. But I want to tell you, I feel like maybe you don't have to. Or for some of you, maybe there's an option of a couple different jobs. And you're thinking about, well, I need the money. I'm going to have to take this job. We're going to have to move. And then maybe you don't have to. There, another job comes up where you could stay. But more so, the, the stronger energy, the stronger vibe I get with this is that there you thought that you were going to have to leave and travel, but maybe you can still do this. Like it, I feel like in some cases, it's still the same opportunity, but you don't have to travel. Or the same type of opportunity, but you don't have to travel. You can stay where you are. This Knight of Pentacles could be an actual person that you're dealing with. Um, and again, Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, a Knight, maybe somebody a little younger. Or maybe somebody behaving in a younger manner, you know, younger way. This could be your relationship, too. Maybe you were going to have to move and your partner's saying, no, I don't want to move. Or your kids are like, no, I don't want to move. So it could be like that. But usually the pentacle person is, if not earth sign, uh, secondarily, secondary, it could uh, be pentacle, money. They could be in somebody you deal with on a, a financial or business partnership or relationship. So there's that going on. In reverse, seems to be a little bit of a blockage, but also kind of off to off over here. Like, you know, not out of the, not really in the fold here, not really in the main spread. And also, the world is so much stronger than whatever this is. The world just, you know, it's, think of it. What is one human in comparison to the whole world? You know, it's, we're nothing. We're a little speck of sand in the beach or whatever. So it, it's that much nothing. Um, and again, I feel like for a lot of you, you'll know about this will be ending by the time we get to the 21st or thereabouts. Whatever this was, uh, you won't have to worry about it anymore. Also, sometimes cherry in reverse, I'm taking it as travel and not travel. Travel, not travel. But sometimes the chariot is one of those success cards, too. So this could have been somebody who was impeding your success. You know, somebody who was um, trying to hold you back, maybe not intentionally, but was just an obstacle for you to have the success. And I feel like... If that's the case, you know, for some of you, this could be like if you might be transferred away from this person. If this is like somebody at your work that you don't get along with. 
or this could be like um, they might get transferred away or moved to another job because there is tra there's still this element of travel and moving stuff going on around you. Uh, but I, with the world and all this stuff down here, I feel like yeah, it could really, really be good. Um, and for a lot of you, this relationship stuff it may be really coming to a head. It just might be really coming to a head. It's not going to just change the big message with the Eight of Rods. I feel. Because the Eight of Rods is pointing off, you know, off the spread too. I always look at what the Eight of Rod points off. It points, it's pointing away from what you've been doing. Okay. So it's like, how's that working out for you? So you've got to do something to make a change. I mean, for some of you, you might be ending a relationship flat out. You might be. Uh, but for some of you, maybe you're going to go to counseling. Or, like I said, maybe you're going to get some a break. I feel like you need a break from this. That it's just too much, you're too overwhelmed from it. That's really what I feel. Maybe some of you, it might be if it's a relationship, you might have a child separation. That's not to say it wouldn't work out in the end, but I feel like you need a break from it right now. That's really what I want to say. Um, and it feels more like an obligatory, like it is like a parent you're taking care of or a kid. Even if it is a, a romantic relationship, it may feel that way. It may feel like, you're, you know, you, you, it's like I have to take care of another kid, you know. So, you know, that's there, but success after a long wait, some, or some breakthrough in career and success after a long time of waiting. I mean, I'm feeling like 9 to 12, it could have been 9 to 12 months, or maybe from uh, the 9th to the 12th, September to December, maybe the stuff you've been waiting for, you know, last year. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the animal cards. I'm so excited to share it with you. They finally are completed, and they are available, and there will be links and whatnots if you wanted to get a deck for yourself. So let's do, what is Aquarius's animal totem card for me? Oh, there it goes. It just flew right out of there, didn't it? Frog. Mm. Okay, let's read what I wrote first, and then I'm going to talk a pinch about it. Okay, it says, Rainmaker, Alchemist, Clairaudient, Fertility, Transformation, Metamorphosis, Safe Passages into the Netherworld, the final stages of growth, you have arrived. And I would say that that really goes well with this world about, and your ships are coming in, you have arrived. You know, the other thing that I didn't put on this card, but is very much connected to Frog, is making these big leaps. So this could be something that's been stagnant for a while, and then suddenly you're going to make this big leap. It totally is a card of transformation, though. Because, we, you know, we go through the stages. I don't, I'm not sure of all. And I know Tadpole's one of them, and maybe Zygote, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, as always, if you're really interested in animal totems, you can totally look it up more, look up frog, and look for confirmation. And I, to I love to hear when you guys, I love, those are my favorite type of comments when you guys say that you saw the animal totem somewhere. And again, it doesn't have to be um, an actual frog. You could see an image of it somewhere, you know, or somebody could say it, talk about a frog. It could come in, in just any way. And so here's my, yeah, these are the animal totem cards. Here's the other side of it for everybody. And um, these are available for sale. And also, stay tuned, I want to tell you more about the, um, the uh, new astrology mandalas that I've come up with. So have a great month, and I'll see you next month. Hey everyone, before we go, I wanted to take a minute to show you these mandalas uh, a little closer. I put everybody's sign at the beginning of the videos. But um, these are available. These are the universal mandalas. All the fire ones have the same frame and earth, and there's all the elements are on here. And I think they look really cool grouped like this. That's why I wanted to show you like this. So if you were you like them, you might want to do like your sun rising in the moon, or maybe you, your partner, and your child, or something like that. I think they look really good grouped. This is a white background with a black mat, an idea of what that might look like. And then I have the black background with the white mat, although it kind of blends into the background. You can't really see it, but you know, it, I think they look really good uh, grouped, and if you are interested in that, all that stuff is, everything I have is available on my home page. Um, so if you go on, there's a home videos, playlist channels, discussions about, click on that about section, and it'll take you to Tapestry of Life to order a personal reading with me. Uh, the prints, that will take you to Fine Art America, which shows all the different zodiac signs that I've done, one for each sign, with black and white background. Also, the Beast Mistress Tarot cards are under there. They're available now, so if you if you like the uh, Beast Mistress Tarot, you can totally get the deck for yourself. And I'm eager to hear like what people want, you know, pick up out of them. I really uh, I'm looking forward to that too. Other people using them and seeing what they have to say about them. And then last but not least, of course, uh, my book, Tarot in the Modern World, which you can't see because it's not in frame. There you go. <laughs> 
Tarot in the Modern World. It's available on Amazon. Um, you know, it's inexpensive, but it's it's an easy, simple book. It's you know, it's for the beginner maybe, but there's maybe more experienced readers could get uh, an insight from it too. It's very inexpensive. Um, you know, if you watch these videos and you're learning how to use tarot, then tarot in the modern world this would be the like kind of like the study guide. So again, all this stuff is available back on my home page under the about section. And of course, if you go to the home page, you'll see um, all my other videos broadcast from the universe and my other channels, my music channel, hence the rock and roll prophetess part. You know, I, I'm a rocker from way back, and um, I also have a little kids channel. If you or someone you love has small children, you might want to check that out too. I want to thank you all for sharing and liking and Google Plusing and commenting on my videos and um, I appreciate it so much and donations. The donations really make it worthwhile to keep continuing doing these free readings every month. Um, remember that you are Love and Beauty Incarnate and I'll speak to you soon.